Shalom, enlightened ones. Good to see you guys. Good to be here with you guys again. Hey, everyone. We made it another Monday, Marriage Monday. Today is Marriage Mondays. Um, I hope y'all saw our Facebook Live the other day. What was that, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, we did we did um, getting the kids prepared for the week. Um, it was awesome. We did an intro and outro. We, we're supposed to upload it to YouTube, but I'm excited about this Marriage Monday. You see the topics. Um, the topics, um, one of the topics is gender roles. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Who does the cooking? Who does the cleaning? Who's supposed to? Um, and then... Hey, Shayna. And then um, we're going to do... We're going to talk about what to do when, when the nest is empty, when we have an empty nest. And then the other topic is, is going to be secrets. Secrets in the relationships. So I think tonight is going to be one, a real good one. So make sure when you get up here, you share, get ready, get your pen and your pad ready to write down the golden nuggets that you get for your relationships. Remember, uh, Marriage Enlightenment Talks is, is good for everybody. It's good for singles. It's good for um, people who are thinking to get married. And it's good for people who want to improve their relationship with, with family members as well because marriage is about communication. Every relationship is about communication. So all these skills that we learn, all these things that we learn, um, in a marriage enlightenment talks is tra our translatable skills and translatable wisdom so we can take it to other places in our lives to enrich our lives so um yeah man we're gonna talk about some hot topics tell me what's the topic up here that you guys like the best um is it gender roles i need three um three people to comment you know um which one you want us to start with gender roles where we talk about uh you know who does what in the house who does what in the marriage who's supposed to make the money you know what i mean um uh, do you want to talk about secrets first or the empty nest concept um, what to do usually people marriages um, people get a divorce when the kids are all out and things like that so I want to talk about that so thanks for getting up here all, all you guys all you eight viewers all you fa um, faithful people that that come up here thank you so and much and also if y'all ever wonder why in the beginning of our lives my head is down and I'm on my phone <laughs> I'm just tagging people um, you know we meet new people throughout the week and they're interested in um, they want to talk about emptiness what up? Um, they're interested in you know our uh, talk shows and stuff so you know that's what I'm doing I'm just sending it to them tagging them and things like that and then, you know, as usual, when I'm done, you know, I have my full focus and attention. So I just wanted to express that for our new viewers and things like that. Oh, and another thing I also wanted to talk about was... Make sure um, you share. I wanted to do an official How We Met segment talk show, however you want to call it. I think that it's definitely uh, due. Um, we have spoken about How We Met before on live and everything but being the fact that this is um met marriage enlightenment talks and we are you know um the host of it i, I think it's it's really i think it will be something special and important for um you guys to learn how we met and how we got married oh, yeah. so like those two things so if you're excited to hear that please let us know um, and yeah. we will do that next week, Monday. Yeah. We're going to um, dedicate that time to just talk about it. And then um, you guys can definitely chime in, ask us questions in between, you know, and things like I'm that. I'm saying you guys and gals because yeah. um, my daughter said, I was like, <laughs> this is how you guys are supposed to be. And she was like, guys, I'm like, all right, so when you come in, when you, um, come in your classroom, and and the teachers say, all right, everybody, guys do this, guys do that. So, you know, people look at things differently. So I was like, oh, let me say guys and girls sometime. Let me, let me say Trinity um, men and women. Yeah, it's Trinity. So my, my oldest daughter, she, she's... Daughters, she... daughters will change you, man. Daughters will change you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I, wanted, I wanted to talk about this one, too. So we got a, we got a few things written down here um, this week. A few. We got a lot written down. All right. We, we but, you know, he things, wrote a couple of them. I, I wrote three main topics, yeah, yeah. which I usually try to um, stick to, which is gender roles, secrets, and a marriage and a relationship. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. And we're going to talk about what to do when you have an empty nest. You know, um, like I said, most people um, get divorces at, at that time. 
Because maybe they were just staying together just for the children, you know? I never thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I always come with the hot topics, man. <laughs> so, um, Amaya says she wants to start start with the empty nest first. Okay. So, let me. I need two more two more people to, to let me know which, which you want to start with. Say the topics oh, again. Empty nest, number one. What do you, you guys want to talk about? Empty nest? Do you want to talk about the secrets? You want to talk about secrets? If you should keep secrets, if you shouldn't. Um, and, and what's your take? Yeah, on that. Or the la um, the last one, gender roles. Who should be doing what in the house? Um, who should be cleaning? Who should be cook cooking? You know, who should be making the money? You know. Gender roles. That's a that's a big one too. I think <laughs> a lot of couples spoken about that. Um, yeah. So it's gonna be interesting. And make sure y'all uh, gender roles. Shana said gender roles. So gender roles. Yeah, that's an answer. So we got we got one. One person said, um, Amaya said, um, empty nest. She wanted to talk about first. Shana says, uh, gender roles. And I guess we, we'll just wait for two. And if, if nobody else, um, comments what they want to talk about, then I'm going to just pick the one that both of y'all didn't pick. <laughs> That's Secrets. fair. Look, Marquita said Look. secret. <laughs> they live one of each. <laughs> Marquita said secrets. Oh my gosh. So, Zane, y'all, y'all really making this hard? Well, I think we should do emptiness because Imaya asked for um she she was she first, so first. that's fair. That's so we'll do it in that order. We do emptiness, gender roles, and then secrets. All right, for the sake of for the sake of how y'all asked, taking yeah. off and starting. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's okay. do this because we got a lot of stuff up here that we want to cover. So um if you if you feeling it, make sure you share. I want to ask you guys to um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Storm Family is the Storm Family on everything. Same thing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And um, for your for your spiritual needs, your deep spiritual needs, Storms Enlightenment Channel on YouTube. I'm always dropping a word there. Um, so I, I appreciate you guys. So let's do it. We're talking about the empty empty, empty nest concept. Nest. Concept. You know when you brought this topic up, it was like because I like to talk about things that I've experienced. So this I feel like I I'm gonna have to just be talking about my um, my projected, you know, um, what I want to happen or outcome or how I okay. feel about it. So, okay. yeah. So. Thanks for sharing. So, who, who you want to, who, um, you want to talk about anything this or, or me? You. So, yeah, let me hear All right. your take So, boom. It. When all the kids is out the house, you know we have 12, right? <laughs> I would love to hear you take on Gender Rose family. Oh all yeah, right, we're gonna right. get to that. That's we, the second we one. Get to that. That's the second one. Word Thanks up. for joining us. Um, so so uh, empty nest. Me, it's twelve children, and guys, I know you know that it's not easy. You know what I mean? You cannot have twelve children and not have a, a spiritual a strong spiritual foundation. It ain't easy with one or two. Yeah. So And I always say it's harder with one or two. So empty nest, you know, I already know what I wanna do with my wife. You know, um, even now that we that that we have this, we don't have an empty nest. I and I feel like that should be spoken about. Number one about, is right? um, travel the world. I want to travel the world. Of course, we can get babysitters, but that's difficult because who are you gonna get to to babysit twelve <laughs> twelve children? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's really difficult. So what what do I think about um, the empty nest? I don't think I'll really ever have an empty nest in a sense. To I always want to be helping the community and helping the youth. And mentoring the youth, so I, I look at it in that way, you know, uh, and I and I help my kids in the same way as I will help strangers. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if you guys ever follow me on my Enlightenment channel. I talk about, you know, um, treat treat your family like strangers and treat your strangers treat strangers like family. And and I know a lot of people look like, like why would you do that? You know, um, how you gonna treat your family like strangers? Let me tell you why. Because family, right, we, our family usually judge us from how we grew up and, and they won't accept our success and where, how far we have come, right? Mm -hmm. And it's hard for them, like, I know you. you, you're not this big person, you're not this, you're not that, right? So, <laughs> so you, you want to treat um, your, your family like strangers because strangers... You know, you're, you're, um, there's a respect. Yeah, there's a respect there. To be there. honest. Strangers, like, if we can be honest. You have respect for strangers because so we you're getting to know them. So 
you'll, you know, have that respect for them. That's you know? right. That's right. Like, you'll get them a no glass of water. Family, you'll right. be like, you know, you know, you know the you know house, you know your way around. And I think you should yeah. always be like that with your family. Like, hey, um, would you like a bottle of water or bring them things and, you know, um, just treat them like really serving nicely. Them. Serving them. Serving, okay. right. So, um, that's, that's what I think about, you know, um, when I think about, uh, emptiness and things like that i think about i'm always going to have people that i mentor and always going to be involved with the youth and you know when i want to babysit we'll be able to babysit kids and we look forward to our grandkids so that's what i think about with, with the emptiness what do you think about well just like you i do um because there is a difference even though you're going to be mentoring youth let's be honest this it's not the same as your own children mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, honestly, I feel like the reason why I say this is because I feel like other people respect you more than your own children. <laughs> like, you see, that's that family strangers. Your concept. children, you gotta tell them things a couple of times to do things, and you know, as they get older, they want to see if the things that you're saying is true or that's not. Right. But when you speak, when you when you ha when you mentor people, they respect your word mm -hmm. differently than your own children. That's so, right. I think there's a difference with that. But when I think of emptiness. I'm excited to, um, for it being me and my husband, like he mentioned, traveling um, and not feeling like, you know, um, my children needs to be reprimanded or, you know what I mean? Because we've experienced that. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, not having it in my back of my mind think of those things. Mm -hmm. Also, um, like, loving to do, love, love doing things with each other. Without having to deal with, you know, um, dealing with the kids and things like mm -hmm. that, and um, so I'm excited for that. But I want, I do want to mention, I do want to say that it is very important to discuss when that happens. Not, no, not when it happens, but discuss that topic when you're married, because mm -hmm. I think that will keep That's you big. focused. Yeah, that will keep you focused on loving each other and knowing each other. Because when you have children, you know what can happen is you lose interest in each other or you lose oh, that man. conversation or you lose, Talk about it. you know, something that you guys had before children because then now your life becomes always all about the children. Right. It happens. Gotta, Even though we don't want to, we it gotta happens. We got to check that every day. We, we, we got to keep that in check every day with us. Like, right. hey, you, you know, everything was all about the kids. I only get these two hours where you're sleepy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, we had to adjust in those things. And um, um, shout out to um, Manny. Uh, he, he said, we are born with relatives, but we choose our family. Word up. That's true. And Marquita for, for saying absolutely and truth. We see y'all up here. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually excited. I was surprised. This was his topic. I was surprised he wanted to discuss about emptiness. And only because, like I said, you know, I feel like we can talk about things. Or it's more easy to talk about things that you've experienced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we're not there yet. Um, nor am I even rushing it, honestly. I feel like having my children, um, I, there's, uh, it, it, it gives opportunity to learn more about yourself, right. learn about life, learn about things. So I'm, 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 I'm excited that, you know, I'm still in that, you know, mix with the children. Our youngest is one and our oldest is 15. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're still in it, you know what I mean? You know, so. So when do you think that, that we'll have uh, empty nest? And is the like nest give it a year, like the years you're saying? Yeah, I don't think the, ne the nest is ever really empty, but I, w I would say. Amaya has an empty nest and her, her son is, uh. Maybe in his twenties. Maybe when like Hope that. turns. So maybe when our one year old turns like eighteen. You and, know what I'm saying? And because that would be you consider that emptiness that, when they go to college. What if she goes away for college? Right. Then you're con like that's considered having an emptiness. Right. Nest. So we would say we would say. Uh, I really don't want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to so talk about our, that. Our youngest, our youngest will be right will be eighteen, and we'll, she said it's hard, but I praise God. Look, he's twenty six. You know Word up. Oh, I have anything that's hard, but I praise God. I mean, yeah, it's difficult, and community is so important. Yes. Community is so important. Look, that's I don't I even about... want to think about Hope being 18. That's a lot for me. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. Let's go to the next topic. I can't do this. I, I like that. Um, no. Because when... She's one. Are you talking about 18? I can't. 
Yeah, because you you putting all the pieces together and creating... Them. I mean, when you have to, yeah. when you say empty nest, to be able to talk about something. That's what I do. More on the, on, I on put the target subject of us two. What do we do? That's funny, but you didn't even say that. You talked about mentoring other people. Let's be, yeah, let's be honest. Because I'm talking about myself, what, what I would need. And what how... you say with me. Okay. All right. All right. So... And you and you won't mentor what you think about as the children. Well, when... What do you mean? Like... When the nest is empty, you think about the children. You won't think about your, like how, how, like yourself. No, actually, um, with, I would think about myself because I feel like that's my opportunity to to go back to school and you know. There you mean? go. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but you. But what about oh? So you're saying you with mental? Oh, I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, right. yeah. I really love. I All like. Right. I really love children. That, that, I mean, that's why I have twelve. That's why we have 12. He finally admitted it. Because when people <laughs> ask why we have 12, he try to act like it's me when it's really him. He said, y'all should have, do a live on just that of doing things while having 12 kids alone. <laughs> that is so that you guys are on your way to master. <laughs> That'll be cool. Hey, Misha. Blessings. That'll be cool. We could, we can actually, thank you for that. We'll um, definitely do a topic on that. The things that we do, we actually on our YouTube channel want to do um, our morning routines. Yeah. So stay tuned to that um, for that because we're actually starting, now that my husband is back, we're actually on track with giving you guys more um, content on our YouTube channel, um, right. the Storm Family. And on so Facebook. So that would be yeah. So that yeah, he loves he loves this live. Like, he cannot live. get away from this live. Because I, I love he my likes people. The interaction. And it's, a, it's a way to um, be with my people when I can't gather with them, and that's the the way the world is headed anyway to um, the digital the digital age and the things like that. Okay, so now that you brought it in that put it in that perspective, I can that? yeah I can give a little bit more. So I would definitely um, go back to school. Go back to school, mm. and I would want to go to school physically. Like mm. I don't want to do online. I like physical school, like yeah. you know, hands-on things. So I would love the possibility of that. <laughs> um, definitely um, push the businesses that I already, you know, um, talk about now and write right. down now. Right. You know what I mean? Really be behind it. You I don't. Know, I don't stuff like that. So what? I don't think that you know you're gonna. Want to do those things? He always God, trying be like, to shut a sister <laughs> down. Dang, I'll I can't like, go to school with him. Like, I can't go to school without him. <laughs> Dang. I'll be like, baby, let's go to Italy real quick. But why can't we do that around my schedule? We can't do that around your schedule. We can't do that around your schedule. You see the thing we got to work on, right? Now see? it's time to change the topic. Oh, now it's time? <laughs> anyway. All right, what's the next one? Oh, uh... Yeah, she could, especially at that time, she could do anything she want to do. You know what I mean? I'm going to be mentoring to you, so I'm going to be good. You know what I mean? Now you're going to be, you had to think about I'm that. I'm going to be holding seminars. You know, um, last night when we was doing a live about uh, preparing the kids for the weekend, we was cutting their hair, and she was doing the girl's hair. Check that out on Facebook at, um, after this after this live right here. But um, they asked us where we see ourselves in 10, 10 years. years from now, yeah. And then um, we started to talk about, you know, what we was talking about? I didn't know what you was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> but let's move on. Because you next said I can do whatever I want because you're gonna be mentoring and you're gonna be. So I guess you was talking about what you're gonna be doing in ten years. Right, right, right. So, th oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about move, um, being able to speak in different platforms like oh, okay. the garden and things like that big big arena oh, yeah, and say motivate that. people be yeah. a motivational speaker so that's what I that's what I wanted to do so I'll be totally occupied with things like that like you know I won't have any time to be like you know I don't want her to go to school and stuff like that cuz I ain't gonna front y'all I'm spoiled for real so y'all already know that though <laughs> no they don't now All right, now you know I'm spoiled guys so, so gender roles I think is the um the next one. The next one is gender roles? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, and because right, Marquita the, was the last one. She don't said beat secrets. Us up. So gender roles. Let's talk about gender roles, guys. What do y'all think about gender roles? You know, um, tell us what, what you think about empty nests in here. But what do y'all think about gender roles? Who? <laughs> <laughs> word yes, up, is. sis. Word up. It's <laughs> annoying. So, look. Who? Who's supposed to clean up in the house? Who's supposed to cook? Who's supposed to get the money? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. Who's supposed to clean up? Who's supposed to cook? Who's supposed to get the money? How do y'all feel about gender roles? Um, like he said, who's supposed to clean? Who's supposed to bring in? I think I think the bread. 
I think my wife, my girlfriend, she 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 has a lot of things in her mind like, if, that general, men that men are supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? What? Like what? Because you be like, yo, fix this. Yo, do this. How come you didn't do that? See? Listen. Is it true? Is, was it true? I mean, it is. Right. See? I don't, I don't, I never have But no, listen, first of all, it's not that I feel like men are supposed to do it. I feel like he's (laughs) supposed to do it. And I'm going to tell you why. He knows how to fix stuff. He's really handy. Now, if he wasn't handy, why would I ask you to do something? I don't ask you to cook, even though I would like you to cook, but you don't do that. Because you don't know how to do that. So I'm not going to ask you to do something that you don't don't know how to do. And that's the thing. That's how I feel about gender roles. I feel like if you're equipped to do that thing, then it can be your job. You know what I mean? And we can exchange jobs. But that's what you do. And then he's mad. You laughing. Watch this. <laughs> Let me f- try to fix something, right? <laughs> he's going to go and critique it and say, you should have waited till I did it and all of this stuff. Oh did you do God. it right? Did you? Because he used to be a construction worker. Like, he... But that's, so no, 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 I don't no. think that's fair. Hold it, hold it down. All right, go ahead. How dare he say she expects me to do it, but he was a whole construction worker? Like, what are you talking that, about? I don't think that's fair, though. How? Let me let me tell you why. <laughs> let me tell you why. Wait, let me look. You was wilding. <laughs> no. Let me look at this real quick. She said, Everybody. "I come from a culture where women do everything," but I disagree. Um, Marquita said that. Does I Marquita disagree say as equal well. gender roles and everybody? That's what um, lightly Nisha. Um, um, she says she thinks she uh, Misha thinks she cleans better than Al on any day. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I think I clean better than Iris. I think I'm the best cleaner of all. No. In no. the world, though. No, Craig. She no. said I don't take out the trash. Facts, facts in my home. So, so let me let me say why it's unfair. No. Just because Hold I had the jobs. No. Can I go? You went. No. <laughs> Did he just say he cleaned better than me? I'm going to tell you what his cleaning is after he said that, because I'm going to give him that respect. But how dare you? Okay, go ahead. Watch this. <laughs> so let, crack me, up. Go ahead. let me say this. Go ahead. So I don't think it's fair, because she said, I used to be a construction worker. These are the jobs that I had. Those are the jobs that I had. Doesn't mean that I'm really good at it and something that I want to do. <laughs> All right. No, no. Say that you want to do. Say that you want to do. Oh I agree God. with that. But don't say you're not good at it, because he's very meticulous. Like, he is so precise. You can't do this, and you got to do this. Did you do this? No. Like, he is just like a freaking mad scientist with things. So you, you know believe I mean? in equal gender roles too, huh? Yeah, I believe. Babe, Let me see what first I believe. of all, don't, what I I go, don't I go in? I believe in equal gender roles I be too. going in, babe. When, I, when it's time to fix stuff, I fix it. I do it. Put things together, I do it. Because I'm handy with my hands. You understand That's what I'm right. saying? That's right, and she loves to do it, but yeah. not me. Not me. The reason why I love to do I, it because I like for things to be fixed. I like for things. Oh, Lightning said we we do deep cleaning. Y'all y'all men do surface cleaning. And that's period. Let me tell you something. Let me get back to that. Oh, you want to read it first? Well, I think one person is better at anything. They should do it. Oh, yeah, that's what I agree. I wish my man was a better cook or a better chef. Iris do too. Yes, I do. The things um, that kings are good at natural because our brain works uh-huh. and things that are natural for queens because of how their brain works. But I think, look, in our relationship, look at this, guys. In our relationship, I'm I'm the more I'm the more feminine side, and she's the more masculine side. Well, that's true, and I think it's evident. You know but, what I'm saying? Um, let's no, don't try it's to my, don't talk over the fact bro. that you said that you that you clean better than me. I do. So Misha, you had hit the nail right on the head. What this guy does, which I I've learned to appreciate. I don't even come at it no more because I feel like whatever again. Whatever he's Watch good this. at, and then me assist and stuff like that because it's getting done. The job is getting done. Mm. But back in the days, I hated it, okay? Mm. This is what he does. He gets everything all in the middle, all in the middle, doesn't <laughs> And he never puts the stuff where it goes. He either makes me or the children now now clean the middle. If we, That's it's cleaning? E- it's equal that's not roles. cleaning. <laughs> no, 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 it's equal that's that. We work it together. All, that's no, teamwork. No. One person. One no. person. Look, I cleaned the. I cleaned the whole house just because I put all the whole house in one pile. All y'all doing is putting y'all clothes everywhere. Got to go and getting up the trash. You know what I mean? What y'all think about that? No. Look, they laughing at you. 
That's that's how they feel about that. Oh my that, god! You can't say you clean better than me. I organized better than you. When you okay. came home from from doing the movie, I had to put that's, his clothes away. That's cheating. I had to hang it up. I was go look. I was going for thirty days, right? So she had thirty days to clean the house. <laughs> you supposed to be able to clean the house in like a couple of days. No, you didn't even hear what I said. You trying to throw shots? That's not what go I ahead. meant. When you came home, you seen your stuff hung up. Yep. So you yep. came you and you put it on the ground, on the that. floor, in the closet. Right? You didn't hang it up. That doesn't See, have nothing to do with cleaning, though. Guys, y'all don't consider that cleaning? But that don't have it is. It let's, does let's, because let's, that contributes here, to look. the cleaning that needs to be done. Let's say here. When we clean, who cleans the best? Who cleans the most thorough? That's what I'm talking about. Who cleans the most thorough? Like if we both was to clean, if we both was to clean the kitchen, who would clean it better? Me. If we both was to clean the living room, who would clean it better? Me. So you would clean everything better than me. Yeah. More thorough. Yeah. How come when I look today, guys, I cleaned the dining room and I moved the piano and it was it was trash there. You know what I what, there. You know what's annoying with him? He does this one thing, and because he did this one thing, this very first time, we had the piano for months. So because he swept it one time behind the freaking piano, which was today, <laughs> now he's a better cleaner than I. I always said no, that. No, no. Who was cleaning hold up when we hold first it down. Who was doing the most? Hold cleaning? it down. Hold it down. All right. Let's be honest, because you even said it. You was like, you know what? I ain't gonna front. You go in with the cleaning. You do a more cleaner. Why? He don't like chemicals. <laughs> he don't like no chemicals. So he don't wipe down, um, like, he what? don't mop like that. When was the last time you mopped? I don't... Exactly. Look, we hired, I some... mop. Look, we hired somebody to no. mop. No, <laughs> babe. That's the of, whole point. Babe, out of the 14 years, about to be 15, did you ever mop? I don't know. <laughs> but he's a better cleaner than me. I am a better cleaner. We're, let's that's go to the next fair, one. Like, read the rest. That's not fair. I know. <laughs> How does that fair? Okay. Let's look at the comments real quick. <laughs> so y'all are hilarious. Definitely right, Iris. Is um, extroverted and Cord Cordell is more introverted. Laugh out loud. <laughs> y'all are growing individually in your energy and as a unit. Amen. That's right. Right, Iris. Hold it down. <laughs> P.O.P. Hold it down. Oh, my I God. I feel like, I, again, I see how I do? I'm so nice. I'm like, I appreciate how you do it. All right, so what y'all think? I don't be like, oh, I'm a better cleaner than you. According to what y'all heard. But with generals, I feel like whoever's equipped with the job, I feel like, you know, they're the ones that should, you know. I don't, because, like, let me tell you something, guys. It's hard, yo. Let me say, all right, this is the truth, guys. This is the truth. I said it earlier. I am yeah. super spoiled. <laughs> It's not my fault. <laughs> I, my mom used to do everything for me. All my girlfriends used to do everything for me, right? And and this is why I married my wife, right? Because I always want to be better and I always want to change, right? I married my wife because all, all my girlfriends always did all my laundry, all the cooking, everything. You know what I mean? All I had to do was make money. And I didn't really have to do that. You know what I mean? I lived, I lived like a king all my life, right? You know what I'm saying? In the sense of the word, not, I'm about to say not as a because I know y I know how y'all are. Y'all be getting all detail. Yeah, Misha what's a, up here. What's don't, a true king? Don't try I'm her. Like, Yo, yeah, relax, don't try relax. Her. relax. Don't Let try me live. Her. Let me explain. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when this is why I married my wife because when I met her, you know she wouldn't do my laundry. Tell them about tell them about that story. And I didn't act I, like I wasn't asking her to do my laundry. I didn't know how to do my laundry. If y'all look at my Facebook post when I said I'm doing my laundry on my own for the first time, that was like last year. That yeah, <laughs> was last year. That was like last year. I'm doing my laundry. Like it just was no opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So here was the scenario. Should I get a, a little story time in the midst of this? All so right, story time. I think at this point I wasn't even pregnant with Janai. This was early in our relationship. This is within the one year of being together. So. um... We were getting the laundry together, and Ooh, I was like... I like that, Marzans. I was like, you know, come, let's wash clothes. And he was like, what you mean, let's wash clothes? You <laughs> wash my clothes? I said, no. I'll wash your clothes with you, but I'm not washing your clothes. And so I had went downstairs, and I was, I was like, waiting what? for him. And he was on the phone with another girl, Maria. Uh, yo, is she name dropping? So, <laughs> Shout out to Maria, shout out to Maria. It's Matt, Matt Maria's. Anyway... Um, and she was like, Papi, I'll <laughs> shit close for you. Because I came upstairs and I'm listening. He's, um, she was like, Papi, um, you know, if you come over here, I'll wash your clothes for you. I'll do anything for you. Because she was like, what you about to do? 
She said, yeah, I'm about to go to the laundry, laundry mat with my, with my girl, and we about to wash clothes. And she was like, oh, I'll wash it for you. You know, I'll cook for you. I said, hang up that phone, and let's go to the laundry mat. He hung up that phone and went to the laundry mat. <laughs> But he thought it was funny. Like, he thought it was hilarious. Oh, my God. You know, and he was looking at me like, who do you think you are making me wash my own clothes? I'm like, I'm not washing. I'll help you. I'll assist you. But I'm not Honestly, doing it for you. Y'all know the story. I, I had, like, ten, 10... When I met my wife, I had, like, 10 girlfriends for real. Like, 10 girlfriends. And all of them did different stuff. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people know about that lifestyle. You know, there's a lot of people that, that have somebody that they talk to in the middle of the night and stuff like that. I don't live like that no more, guys. Um, you know, my wife could attest to that. That's that's crazy. I I got too many responsibilities. So yeah, that was the story though. That Pretty was the much. story though. But as far as gender roles, um, I feel like like I said, whoever's equipped to do the job, you know what I mean. I would love, just like with you, Felicia, I would love for my husband to learn how to cook because I like to eat. <laughs> you so, know what I mean. I I think about. So you you like for me to do? I, oh, I can I say one thing that you Manny, do? Manny said okay. that we're better at um, the order of operation, and women are better at cleaning and stuff like that. I, I can't agree with that. Yeah, because like I manage well, like yeah, I, I'm I can't nuts agree with, with managing where it goes. What you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't. But agree as with far that. as doing the actual thing is like, yo, oh, I want to say something. Let me tell you like, how bad it was. Are you gonna remember it? Yeah, I want to tell you how bad it. Yeah. Let me tell you how bad it was. I used to pay people to fold my clothes. Pay pe- I, used to, I used to take my stuff to the laundromat. I had to save thousands and thousands of dollars, but I paid people to do everything. Like, that's how I was when I was little. Like, I'm a teenager. I was paying people, you know. I just wanted to give people jobs for real, and I didn't want to do my work. So I, I would do everything to make the money to be able to pay for for, for those things. But she she don't she don't um think that's, you know, something that's valuable or feel- legit. no. I'm all for it if you have that type of funds, <laughs> but I feel like at least, you know, do your own stuff first. Like, you know what I mean? Learn how I to do your own once. stuff or whatever. I can't. <laughs> I <laughs> cooked <laughs> once. I, I did my laundry once. I did it once. Now everybody else can do no, it. No, but honestly, no, because you forgot, babe, and I think this, you talking about something you did your laundry by yourself. First of all, I remember when we when we first um, gave our life to Christ, you used to go to a laundromat by yourself mm-hmm. and wash our clothes by yourself. Yeah. When we didn't have... You don't remember that? No. In Queens. No. I wow. You used to wash... He used to bad. wash the laundry by himself. And then we would go and then we would fold it together. Mm-hmm. But you used to go by yourself and walk to the laundry. You know what's so crazy? I probably was paying somebody to do it. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that's how bad it nah, is. Because even when even when I was there with you at the laundromat, you used to do it yourself and have me sit down. And mm, do I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I done got Hollywood song. Apparently. I don't, I don't know what happened, guys. Okay. But um, the other thing I was I wanted to say before we go to the third topic was our um the other thing the reason why sometimes I even just do it. Because when he do things, do um do uh, clean up or like when he does dishes and stuff like that, you was lazy, low vibration at that time. <laughs> oh my god, my man. Why are you even reading it? <laughs> you cheating. Oh so, my god. Um, he will complain while he's washing dishes. See, this is how you do when you hear it squeaking. When you hear it squeaking, I'm like, yo, don't nobody want to hear a speech while you wash the dishes because nobody else like knows. Everybody I'm should talking. Do their job. I'm talking. Go ahead. No, do their job. Don't nobody want to hear a speech Why are you washing dishes. So because of that, I'm like, nah, we got to wash the dishes because I definitely do not want to hear your father talk about how it should sound after you finish what <laughs> it's supposed so to look like. Like, every time he washes dishes, he does it. Yo. You see what I'm talking about? You see the black? It never looks like this. When I do this, it never looks like this. That's what he does. So I don't want <laughs> Good. No, no. Let's leave this in the lounge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mention that. Yo, blame my mother. This. Yo, is something some wrong with people? Blame the parents. Do y'all agree with that? Write it in the comments. I'm sorry, because your mother do, do Blame that. the parents. Blame my mom. She do, do But that. shout she out to my mom. Shout out to the parents, parents. but blame them. I'm you know, my, my, mom, my mom did everything. She ain't really made me do nothing. She would tell me how to do it, but she ain't really. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I yo, I I grew up with 
um, I'm one of seven, right? So I would even pay my brothers and sisters to do it. I'm like, yo, I'll I make you, I'll make you, uh, I'll make you some paper airplanes. Like, look, he thought. I was he thought always he was out. Oh, this out is of work. hilarious. God got the last laugh. He was like, oh, you think you skipping all this now? Oh, oh all right. God. Watch this. And when he married me, I'm like, uh-uh. Let's go. That's right. Let's go. So so the person that you marry is, is, is not necessarily the one that you want. <laughs> they to the, the person that you marry is not necessarily the one, one that you want, but, but it's the one need. that you need. Yeah. That's how you know, you know, she Because I definitely didn't me. want to tell somebody that... <laughs> She Watch elevated me and made, made me go high. That's matter of fact. That's one of the topics, right? It is mm -hmm. actually. That's one of the ones I wanted to talk about. Yeah, she elevated me and, and, and made me go high. So I knew, um, me, me being me, I know I always want to change and be greater and be greater. And and I know all all the women that I was dealing with, you know, um, they kind of they would just cater to everything that I the foolery. Yeah. No. Anything that I wanted to do, they was like, yeah, whatever you want to do. No. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I was spoiled. Whatever. And then she came along and when she said no, I was like, Yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> that's the one. And she was like, No, that's different because I knew I knew the other way all the time. Like that was my whole life. And I wanted to change in my life and you, you know, my life continued to change with with my wife. So yeah, man. So the last topic well, I wouldn't say the last topic because what time is it? Nah, it's, it's oh like, yeah. So the third it. topic is um secrets. So do y'all believe that you're supposed to have Secrets in and your ask marriage? y'all questions at any time. Anytime y'all can put any question, random question, comments, concerns up in here. Um, <laughs> I'm one thing say I hate the dishes too. I would clean tubs, kill spiders, kill rats, <laughs> build bricks, but I hate dishes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I don't think I have a problem with, with those things though. Like I don't have a problem with I gotta look, I I don't have a problem with sweeping, I don't have a problem with mopping. Today though, today, let me say this. Today I don't have I, a problem I with any of that. I but I, I did have a little problem with doing things that I've worked and got paid for because I feel like, like in my life, my mind, I was always getting paid since I was little. I you know think that's a, that became a problem so because was, this this is how I view things. Yeah, I feel like in all that you do, you do unto God. So even. Mm. And that's what makes things easy for me. And I have 12 yeah, children, I, so that's what makes it easy for me. You know, that's, that, 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 that burden of, oh, God, the load or the workload, I don't really wear it because I give it to God. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and what happens is he gives you the strength. He gives you the organization. The you know what I mean? And it, and it takes your mind off the task. So when I do wash dishes or mop the floors or things like that, I play music. I make it in an event. I, mm. I make it comfortable for me. You know what I mean? And so, you know, I don't look at it like that. And the reason why I feel like for you, you know, you need to learn how to get out of that because it will be a blessing for you because I feel like God can give you something that, you, that you've that you already mastered in. Son, mm. how can I reward you mm. and give you the additive of something if you didn't, you know what I mean, find that, just like with your chakras and all that, like you have to master each thing. Each thing. That's right. So, you know, why not master your mindset on a certain tax so that you can master that, overcome that, mm. and then allow God to bless you with the maid. Like, mm. and that's, and that's what I mean. That's my mindset okay. on on things like that. Okay, I like that. I like that. I'm surprised because usually be like, no, no. <laughs> but I'm just sharing how like, I get by. You know, what when I, mean? I finally get to do the things that I wasn't doing or that I was paying somebody you can, to he do, he actually appreciates I'll be it. Happy, I'm yeah, like, he yo, I want to do this again, but yeah. really, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what what happened? I I was paying somebody to do the laundry, and then the person who that is a story like that. Somebody was paying somebody to do the laundry, and then when they finally did their laundry, oh, was that me? That was me, huh? I don't know, guys, but it's a story. <laughs> it could have been me you, or somebody him. else. He watched. I'm telling you, I was for, paying for somebody to do laundry when I first did it. Stuff. I was just liberated. It just changed my mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you starting to remember. So yeah. Yeah, he used but to I ain't doing it in, in so long. Like, it, yeah. It's it's what fourteen of us. It's it's fourteen of us. So it's we can we can share the work crazy. And so you used it's to wash to our be... clothes by hand. Like I don't understand how yeah, you forget I, all that. I'll do that. He like when we didn't have That's money big, yeah. and for the laundry, you know, to do. And, and this was in New York. It was so many years ago though. He used to wash our clothes in the tub and hang it around the house. And he used to wash our clothes by See, hand. See, I like, like that because that's manly. I, I feel my muscles. That's a lot of work. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I, I, I feel it. I remember your wrist was I crazy. Feel that. I, so I don't like fixing walls and doors because I feel it's like really dainty. I'm not no 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 um I'm 
disrespect. No, disrespect to nobody. No offense to nobody who does that. You know what I mean? I just feel like drilling is like drill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fixing the wall is like you 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 got to smooth it out and stuff like that. I'm like, eh, that ain't my style. Like, so I'm into like pushing a broom, squeezing out laundry. You know what I mean? Doing it like that. You know, but you know, putting things in there and then pouring it in. There, like, I don't know, man. If it if it's simple, I think if it's too simple, I don't I don't want to do it. Like something that's crazy complex, I'd be wanting to do it. Oh okay. Yeah. That's good to know. So, cause I like I like to conquer things. So, yeah. But what's what's the last what's the um last of my secrets. topics and going to your talk? So let's talk about secrets, guys. And so, write any question in the right. In the do y'all agree that it's okay to have secrets in your marriages? And also, and I want to add to what that. What do y'all think about secrets? Yeah, I want to add to that. You know how you, before you get together, you had a past? Mm. You know, do you think that you shouldn't bring your past? Because those will yeah. eventually be secrets because you with somebody. And I don't know the things that you went, you know, you've been through. That's right. In your relationship. That's right, so, do you, um, do you think it's okay to, you know, expose yourselves, you know, when y'all get together? So, um... What's her name? Yeah. Shana said nope. Nope. So no secrets. <laughs> no secrets. Shana said no. I will. I will. Uh, Manny, wants the hands. Bro, what do you go by right now, bro? My man. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you hands, Manny, forever, cause you know your hands is lethal in martial arts. Your hand is lethal in um in dancing and connecting. So, you know, forever. So um. Yes. Oh, my birthday is 12-17-86, bro. 12-17-86. That's my birthday. <laughs> she said it depends but, about your past. But I was a master, bro. I, like, I, I could, like, I worked day and night. I, I used to work three, four jobs, five jobs. So it wasn't really laziness. It was housework. I'm, I'm from the hood, so. Yeah, it was housework. That and I know I say that work. a lot, but I, I'm, I say that in many dimensions, like, you have to know how to maneuver. You not have to know how to get around things and stuff like that. So I got really good at doing that. So it wasn't laziness because I'll, I'll do any type of work, no matter what it is, 24-7, like, until I pass out. So it's not really laziness, but if I can get away with it, is that laziness? Y'all tell me, is that laziness? Like, if I can if I can not do it, why would I do it? You know, is that laziness? I don't know. I, I would say it is. I'm sorry. It is? I would agree. It I don't, because I don't mind working. Yeah, but it could become a hindrance after a while because you start you start keep doing that because you got you know what I mean and you're that type like hey, oh I'm I'm gonna just you. ride this I'm gonna just then. ride this you know thank what you because so, it's hard to Mr. Body Sculptor that's right Mr. Body Sculptor that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna call you from now on bro um, but yeah yes, thank you guys it's lazy. thank Look. you Bay you know it's lazy and that's one thing about me you I'm can't always see yourself. honest I'm very honest Look, I can't so. see myself guys it's true we need we need other I'm people to look at to us, yeah, I, I can't see myself, so I appreciate that, guys. That's what, that's why we do this. That's what we hear. Right, right. But secrets, um, Shana said no. Nope. Um, and then Marquita said um, it depends on your past. Like, you know, it depends on your past. I had a terrible past, and I ne for me, I needed to tell my wife everything because I wanted her to protect me from, from being in that world. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my, my past is crazy. You know, so I, I needed to let her know everything about my life. So in turn, you know, I wanted to know everything about her life. You know what I'm saying? And it could get ugly. It could get ugly. Like, it has gotten ugly. Yeah. But um, I, I believe this is this is me personally. You know what I mean? Um, oh, somebody on my team. Oh, my team. Right. Misha, of course. Ah! <laughs> she said, I don't think it's lazy if you just don't like to do it. That's right, because I'll do anything. Like, I'll, I'll flip car. I'll build you a car. Like, I don't know how that's lazy, you know, but some people might see that as lazy, and I'll take it as that, and I'm gonna start doing even more stuff. Like, like it's sometimes where I just get up and I just go, I just go off because I feel like it's an inkling of a thought in the back of my mind that is lazy, and I don't even like that word on my body. So I'll be like, he don't. You know what I'm saying he really don't. He's an early riser. He likes. Um, yeah. If he feels like he wasn't yeah. productive I, for the day, he feels some type of way. Like I'm not taking nothing. As as I'm not like taking that. no loving. You know what I mean? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not eating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't, if I feel like if I ain't do no work, yeah, so like I gotta that. work hard every day. So, yeah, but I feel like certain people um, could think that you can be, and we have people that actually did think you were because yep. his idea of 
work on his idea. But here's the thing. When God tells you to do certain things, other people is not going to understand it and, mm. and see it. And then their label of what work look like, mm-hmm. it don't work don't look the same to everybody. Right. You know, for instance, you know, being a YouTuber, that's work. But some people may not consider that work. You know what I mean? Some people may be like, oh, you're lazy, and that's like a lazy... And it's not, because there's a lot that entails in being a YouTuber. Also, when you dancing... Oh, yeah. I'm never lazy with that. I'm never lazy with with promoting myself and my business and my brand. Yeah, people think dancing is a lazy thing. Like, that's not going to make you money. It's like, but dang... That's your mindset, and you don't have that that's mindset, why, but that's, that's why not I don't what laziness do it. is. That's why I don't do those things, because I feel like if I'm doing them things around the house, I can't keep my mind on the things that I'm doing outside of the house. You know what I mean? That's what it is. I don't think I'm lazy. That's what it is. I, my mind is always on the next big move for the, for the family, for my brand, for, you know... Branding myself, my mind is always on the next big move, bringing the next word, hearing from God, like um, um, inspiring my people, you know, weight of the world on my shoulders. Like, so I feel like if I do this, and that's why sometimes I do do things around the house because sometimes that frees my mind. So I'm like, yo, let me sweep, let me wash the dishes, let me do that. So I have to do everything on purpose. So I'm not lazy. I, I do everything on purpose. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do nothing. If I don't see a higher mm-hmm. purpose and the purpose is not valid enough, I'm not doing nothing. Nobody can get me to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I am. Yeah. And I've learned how to um, deal with it. And I know how to get him to do stuff. So yeah. that's, it's not an I mean, issue. You give me to, be honest, <laughs> to be honest, it's not an issue. So, you know, y'all can, you know, do what y'all want with that. But I love that. I love that y'all, but, um, y'all, y'all can tell me that I'm lazy. So, you know, you see my post, you hear me talking, talk back to me. You know what I'm saying? He likes all of it, guys. Mm-hmm. Like, nothing is a bad comment I, to him I love, at all. I love so. when people curse me out because I feel like you're expressing your feelings and I know how you really feel about things. I love that. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you want to get to the to the next one? The secrets, yeah. You was already so, let's see, let me see, right? People with maids are not lazy. They just don't have the time. And it's true. Yeah. And it's very true. And it's so funny, for a long time, I said, let's go to the next one, but... For a long time, he's always talked about me having maids. But but you always talked about me having maids and even a chef because he wanted me to be free to do other things too and not just put up the hat that she's the chef. I never was a house house guy. So, yeah. Yeah. So I get that and I respect that. And I have to learn it about him too. Like, it's not like, you know, you're saying that because he thinks he's all that. He just feels like I deserve to live life and not be, you know, just. Bound in those things and that take up most yeah. of my time in my life. So I respect that and I've learned to respect that. And so it's so funny because now the kids can cook their own food and yep. he's always taking me out now. The the kids, yeah, the kids do everything. I I'll be like, babe, let me cook for you. Look, we at a restaurant. Like, and I can cook. Like, tell the truth. I right. cook. I didn't say you can't. Right. He cooks breakfast very well. Right. Right? He cooks and breakfast I cook very d- well. And I cooked dinner one time, right? One time, right? But now that time. we do have a different Thank lifestyle, you, guys. Now y'all know, y'all you do know. have to learn how to cook with how we eat now. Right. You saw his face. So I don't, he didn't I like don't that. feel like I have to learn. He didn't yeah. like that. He didn't like that at all. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, as so long as go, I eat, Let's go into the I'm secrets. Good. What I said about the okay. secrets, what I said about the secrets is I had to tell, I had to tell her the secrets because the, my background so I feel like secrets are necessary. I, I, I definitely... So I, I'm with the side that you should tell the secrets of, of the past. You should tell the secrets because, you know, um, each party needs to know how to re- protect that person. And, and that's how you gain trust. I need to know about your family. I need to know about what you went through before. I need to know about those things so I know what to look out for. Because, you know, you're not going to stray too far away from how you used to be. You know? Um, you know what it is? I think... And I'm going to be honest, in a marriage, mm. and this is, I'm being so honest, and, and I can that. feel the hurt, like, I can feel the hurt, I can feel the, the weight of, of the secrets and what people deal with in a marriage. Mm. Thank you, Father. Oh, in a relationship. Me, in a relationship, right? Vulnerability. Yeah. I transparency. Think transparency and vulnerability. I think it is two of the biggest things. Mm. She says, I'm Right, use in a negative way. Right, but that's the thing. When you're dating, I think you should... And dating, that's the thing. You shouldn't get married and then have to have to tell those secrets. Mm, you know what I'm that's, saying? That's like when that. you're dating, that's when you put everything in the forefront. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And then and then you talk about it and stuff like that. Like, 
And then I now think you that gotta feel that out. You do. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm not saying as soon as you meet them, you be like, yo, let me tell you what I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you feel like it's going forward, I'm I'm this serious about yeah, you. Yeah, before you put a ring on it, here's the thing. So this is what for? I dealt you're, with. You're for yes to see. Yes, to keep in secrets. No, or no, no. You should, you should tell all this. Yes, I'm about being wow. naked before one another, before you get That's married. Right. I feel that That's because I. And here's the thing: there were things that my husband said to me that hurt me to the core. Mm. But the thing here, the, the reality is, we spiritually, we're spiritual beings having a natural experience, mm. and I think we get that mixed up, and we feel like we deserve the world and all of this. When you know, if for 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 the believers, this. There's things that we have to, you know what I'm saying? Like go to God for. Mm -hmm. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. So why should you expect your spouse to be? And right. of course, you know, have have the space to knowing that they have a past. If, if At the I, end of the day. If I'm perfect, I don't need you. So here's the thing. So there was things that he mentioned and he said that definitely hurt, you know, that hurt me. But at that moment, you know, um, I had to know that, okay, I can't be your wife right now. I have to be a friend. Yes. You understand? Oh, this is what I've been telling everybody um, lately. I need you all to know this. Um, you know, God called us to be priests, prophet, and kings. Right. Priestess, prophetess, and queens, right? So so I want you to know that you. a lot of people put their burdens in, in, and cast their information on you because... I, I need you to know to listen as a priest. This is the word the Holy Spirit gave me. To listen as a priest. To hear as a priest. Like how the priest confessional and stuff like this. A lot of people confess to you. A lot of people call you at night. You know what I mean? I'm, I mean, you can, I know you, a lot of you can attest to this. So you listen as a priest or a priestess, right? And, and you respond as a prophet. You respond as a prophet. Meaning you speak into their future. You tell them about the things in the future and, and, and good things. You know what I mean? Let them, let them know about their life. Speak life into them as a prophet, right? And as a queen and a king, you rule. You tell them how to change their life. You tell them what, what to do. And then you uh, continue to uh, 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 keep up with them. Hey, how's things going with this? How's things going with that? So I want you guys to know that because that'll help you out a lot. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit gave me that word and it and it been blessing me. It's been blessing a lot of people. So I wanted to share that with you. You you we are pre we are priests, prophets, and kings, priestess, prophetess, and queens. And a lot of people don't say the women's side, but I want to say the women's side because the women are that powerful as well. Right. And so, um, right, I agree. Yes, bring them up out of the grave. Mm -hmm. And that's true. I mean, you know, if, if we've been in a relationship prior to the one that, that, that we're in, mm -hmm. you know, um, it was definitely for a learning, yeah. you know, uh, situation. And here's the thing. I believe that you definitely need to be very, very confident in yourself and have high self-esteem when you deal with somebody else. That's right. So that when you do tell somebody your past, you're not still weak, yeah. you know, weak-minded or hearted with what you've dealt with. You yeah. know what I mean? You, um, you got to be confident about what you went through. Like, you know, yes, it's shameful to say I had like 10 to 15 girls. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yes, it's shameful to say that how I even used to Even to live. the point that he didn't even really like to talk about it much, to mm -hmm. be honest. But I told him, I said, that's, but that's, that's, that's your you testimony. Transform. Yeah, that's yeah. your testimony. That's something that you have to be if I proud of saying I that, that that's her, what God changed you from. Because right. right people... If like, I never told her, no, I would, I would be still honest. be doing that in a hidden way. Like, she don't know my secrets, so I can be any way that I want. And, she and I wouldn't know. know because I, you know, you know what, what I'm saying? So a lot of people do that. But another reason why I feel like it was important for you to say that because people that knew him from back in the day try to front like you wasn't ratchet. Oh, yeah. Go say, I knew you was like this, a man of God all perfect. your life. I knew you was perfect. I knew you was material. Like, nah. Yeah, like, where do God get the nah. glory? Yeah. Where do he get the glory in the, in, 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 in the breakthrough and the deliverance that you've allowed him to do in your life? Mm. You know, he had a past. We all did. You know mm. what I mean? And, you know, many of us have different types, but I feel like having secrets, for me, having secrets is a no-no, especially yeah. in a marriage, because I'm like, somebody could definitely use that. You know yep. what I mean? Like, yep. and it come will, in and, and sabotage you your pieces. marriage. So it's like, I don't want you to be able to tell me something that, I don't you know, know what I mean, that I didn't know because my husband already told me. And I feel like that builds a strong force. But I do want to be honest and transparent that a lot of the secrets that were told, and even for him on his side too, you know, for me, like, it was hard. To, it was a tough swill, you know, pill to swallow. It was very difficult. But I feel like our relationship is strong and knitted and tight together because of it. 
So that's the reason why I advocate for no se um, secrets. Okay. Um, Shana said, um, I feel like if you're fully open about uh, your everything from the beginning, then there isn't any room for surprises later. That's right. That's, right. that's what you was just saying. And mm -hmm. I feel like that builds a relationship on a stronger ground from the beginning. That's right. If they stick around after you open up to them about um, what you're vulnerable about or what might have hurt you, you see, then I feel like it will help you guys build a better future with each other. I agree. Amen. I agree. Amen. Thank you I, for that. I, I appreciate definitely, that. I definitely agree with that. So it kind of looked like you kind of changed your mind about, you know what I mean? Not, no, she said oh, she, no secrets. She oh, she said, said no secrets. So she said yeah. no to secrets. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. How do you feel about you know? How did you How did you uh, get through um, the secrets that I've I've shared with you? How did you get through it? Help you through all this problem. Pull you. Was pulling yourself out of. Amen. Amen. Lightning. How do you feel like what? Uh, the secrets that I told you about my past and things like that. Now, how did you deal with this? Yo, let me tell y'all guys. Men, it's so hard for men. And and plenty of people are going to disagree with me. But I, I see the, the majority. The majority of men, they be broken to pieces. And you wasn't even there. <laughs> you know what I mean? If a woman tell you about her past, y'all got to chill with that. Y'all got to chill with that. Like, she, we, let me give you guys some help, right? If you need it, take it. If you shoot the meat, spit the bones, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if you guys, when you guys get together, you're brand new. More than likely, you guys already dealt with each other in an intimate level. Like, let's be real. You know what I mean? That's the world we live in today. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not what I consider the right way, but most people already have dealt with each other on an intimate level. Fix it. Let's, let's, let's go there. If you already did that, you should have no problems. Even though we was already intimate on, on that level like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I still was hurt. I was like, dang. <laughs> Men always want to know, am I better or is it, was that better? You know what I'm saying? Men always want to know that. You know, I never, like, I never dealt with a woman who wanted to know, oh, was I better than this or was I better than that? So I, I want you guys to realize what, where you are is where you start. Even though they're telling you about the past, it's just for you to have information, you know, um, to so that so that you can have a more solid future, like Shana said. You know what I'm saying? So that you got a more solid future. So don't so don't judge nobody off of their past. You know, um, obviously if they're telling you they want to go to another place with you. I agree. So I want y'all to keep that in mind, keep an open mind about that. You know, um, if you feeling if you feeling some type of way about and with, I guess we're talking about partners in specific. You know, y'all go, y'all should have already went to. The, that was a big thing back in the days. We used to go to the uh, what was it, GYN or or the clinics, and we get tested together, and then we get together. You know what I'm saying? That was a big thing because you know um, HIV and all that stuff was big. You know, at that time and highlighted. You know, with Magic Johnson and stuff like that. So now nah, I'm just being honest because he was promoting that. You know what I'm saying? We are we already know the deal, but. You know, um, yeah, keep an open mind. You know, if you feel some way about it, y'all go, y'all go, you know, get tested together. That's something that you should do. You build in a relationship. You want to go forward. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy if you don't. You know what I mean? Just be honest with yourself. I, this, this is another concept that will um, take you guys really far. Be honest with God, honest with yourself, and honest with, other, honest with others. With that, you can't you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Nobody has anything against you. Nobody can hold you to anything. You you already know. You live your life an open book. You know what I'm saying? So you know the one who really for you is gonna be for you. Like you know, I like this person's character. That's why you gotta build your character. Cause I like this person's character. I like this way this person live. I see myself um, living a life with this person, no matter what they past look like. So your character gotta be real big. You can't um, um, be transparent and then not have a great character. Look, Manny said, next time. Next time, you do allow for me in. There are many important variables with that. All right, bro. Definitely. Make sure you have headphones. Yeah. I actually was thinking about, um, you know, bringing people in so and we so, can have a conversation. Right. So um, after the one that we're going to do next week, mm -hmm. the third week um, after that, then uh, we're going to start doing that. So I'm excited for that, to have you guys come in. And instead of writing a whole paragraph, you know, um, if y'all want to talk on that topic and want to discuss it with us, 
just send a request and we'll put you on. But make sure you guys have your headphones on, and, please. And that's our time for real. That's cool, man. I I have so many topics that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. So um, I mean, we we're, we're getting a lot of ammo for this, and I'm glad. Um, so these topics were mainly my husband's topics, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it's kinda, them. It was kind of shared with yours a little bit. One of them was um, one that you had um, considered. Who's that? We had gender roles. You liked that one a lot. Yeah, but I didn't write that. You didn't write no. nothing like that? No. You didn't write nothing about uh, emptiness? No. no. And then what was the last Secrets. one? Secrets. Secrets. You didn't have none of them? No. Oh, shout out to me. No, I'm just playing. I was just playing. But I appreciate you, you know, um, walking through this one with me. You know what I'm saying? And all your hard work and dedication. And I appreciate all you guys' hard work and dedication coming up here learning and learning with us and building with us. We're going to be transparent before you guys. Uh, like the Bible says, we are living epistles in which men read, living letters. We're walking letters. So oh, so you don't mind writing? Well, I appreciate you writing. We love reading your comments. And you can continue to do that because you say you shine. But I'm going to pray that shine is away from you, girl, so mm -hmm. that you can have your time and shine, all right? Word up. Um, yeah, we really appreciate you guys. I, I really appreciate my wife. Um, I, I pray blessings and favor over all you guys relationships every marriage um you know um family families that have been um broken up from disagreements and misunderstandings i want you guys to be open and transparent i i pray that you guys open up your hearts and open up your minds to be transformed this is the time for that you know i believe that god allowed this thing to happen so that we could get in tune with ourselves yes and that, so that we can be able to communicate and come into unity with, with our family, our people, our loved ones. So I want, I want you guys to be um, have an open mind about that. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's all about, to, to be honest, it's about, all about the crown chakra right now. Um, it's, it's all about how you think, your perspective. Uh, open up your mind. Open up your mind. Open up your heart. You know what I mean? I can speak in a term of, of chakras. I can speak in a term of biblical. However you want to talk, but, you know, open up. Open up to your, your loved ones. Let them know how you feel because if somebody's going to walk away, they're going to walk away anyway. You know what I'm saying? Don't and hold, that's what I want don't to say hold about them in your secrets. life. Don't try to hold secrets thinking that it's going to bring somebody, right. you know, put somebody away. If they're meant that's, to be in your life, then they'll be in your life. You know what I mean? If anything, it'll gravitate them towards you all the more. Mm -hmm. You know, if the love is right. And that's what you want in your life. And that's why I said the marriage enlightenment talks goes through all, all parts of your life. So I pray those blessings upon you that, that the Lord bless you guys from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You know, and um, that he bless all your relationships and all your endeavors and prosper you guys in every way. In Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you guys. Shalom. Check us out. Storm's Enlightenment channel on YouTube and the Storm family on YouTube. Blessings.